Howdy, howdy, y'all. It's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today, I just wanted to show y'all how to make these super cute pinwheel embellishments. Um, I don't know. I have an affinity, I guess, for pinwheels. I love them. They make me think flowers and spring and windy days that are perfect. Like today, it's really nice outside here. And I like to use them on cards, on my layouts. Um, I've even made little jars full. And you can put them on paper straws or even plastic straws. Just poke a little hole. And you can have a whole little jar full to sit on your table. Um, I've made them for the 4th of July. Um, and put some little paper flowers in with them and made a whole little arrangement for the table. And they are super, super, super easy to make. All you really need is some paper and some scissors and a brad. And you could technically do it without even having a brad by just gluing your centers together. And then you could put a button or a piece of bling or whatever you wanted in the center of it. So, um, I've made quite a few as samples. I actually have a die. Um, it's a... It has three different sizes, and I got this on Amazon. I'll try to find the link to put below, because um, I've had this one for, I know, over a year. But I like to shop on this KS Craft. Um, they have lots of cute dyes that's really cheap, usually, and all of them that I've got has been really good quality. And this is the three different sizes that it makes. Um, and they have this cute little edge to them, but it's really simple. And then it has the little, this one has the little edges that make your different colors so that you can cut into whatever and make them whatever color you want. Um, I find that it is easiest to make them out of just double-sided paper. Um, and the thinner usually the better so that it's not so bulky but you can also make them if you don't have double-sided paper you or a die you can just take two pieces of paper of whatever color matches or whatever you want it and just glue them onto each other um you can use you just have to have a square it can be any size you could do one by one two by two three by three four by four five by five six by six and it goes on and on and on whatever as long as it's equal it's a perfect square um you can glue these together and both of these are thin paper so these would actually work out pretty good i'm gonna scoot these over a little bit so i can work but you would literally just glue these together you could use your tape runners or double stick tape or anything you want i just find it's easier and faster just to use some some liquid glue and then all you're gonna do is oh my goodness y'all i think I, I lost my scissors oh, i found them Whew. I'm telling you, I lose these scissors more than I lose anything. Okay, so pretty much you have your, your paper. If you was using double-sided, it would, you know, be fine. You could ink the edges if you want. If you wanted to have, like, a decorative edge on them like this, you could pull out those old um, decorative scissors. These are really old, and I got rid of all my other ones. This is the only pair I own. <laughs> or you could even use a border punch. Um... I used the decorative scissors on this one, on the edges, as you can see. Um, and on this one, I used this border punch, which it's the only border punch I own. I only have like five punches. Um, and then, like I said, the dies were this one. But, you could ink up the edges. You can see on some of mine I did ink them. Some of them I didn't. So, pretty much all you're going to do is just take your scissors, start at the corner, and you're going to cut in on every corner. But don't cut all the way, of course, so that you have something to still attach it to. 
And then you're going to need a hole punch. Or I'm using my crocodile steel because I broke my, my punch. My hole punch. Um, and I'm just using it on the small setting to give the little hole. So if you have one of the small hole punches, that one would be awesome. And whenever you're pop, you've got to pop a hole in the center, that's where you're going to connect. But you just want to do the same corner. So if you decide you're going to do this one, because this is going to be what folds in, make sure you punch it on this one in the same spot. So we're doing the first side. I guess if you want to consider it a side. But you just go around. So. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to sit down and film and still see my phone this time around. Um, as you can see, you have a hole here, here, so that it's always on the first, first side of the flap that you've created. And then you're just going to take your, um, your brad that you pick. And you could use, this is where you could use some of those old shape brads that you have. I'm sure everyone probably has them in their stash that we don't really think about pulling out anymore. But these are perfect to use for the centers to make them pretty. So I'm just going to use this flower one. And pretty much you're just going to fold in. So I just do this. And I feel like it's easier. But you could fold them all in first if you, if you wanted to. Um, but you just put all the little holes you punched onto your brad. So there's that. And then you're just going to push it down. And got it through that hole that you made in the center of your brad. I mean, of your pinwheel. So, then you just close it. And voila, you have your pinwheel. So, then, it's still kind of bulky. If you wanted to use it on a card, you could. Um, if you wanted to use it on a layout, put it on a stick. I like to use them on my layout. So, I do generally flatten them down. Um... So that you don't have that big, huge bulk. It makes them pretty flat um, in general. So you have your pinwheel. And like I said, you can make them as big or as small as you would like. Um, I like to make different sizes to use on my layouts. Because I really like using them on spring layouts. So chances are you're going to see... Maybe another embellishment video on how to make... Because these are great for using up your scraps. And I'm all about using up some scraps. Um, but... We're just punching the holes on the same, same spot on all the flaps. Um, but I'm probably going to have one more embellishment video. And then I'll probably do a layout... Um, showing you how to use the embellishments we made since everyone loved that so much. Like, that was, I think, the most comments that I probably got was just everyone saying that they loved how, um, I'm trying to fold the wrong side. That's what I get for talking and crafting. <laughs> but, um, okay, I want to do this one first because it has a pretty flower which will end up being the center of our pinwheel. And you can take the same, if you have like the same double-sided paper, you can make your pinwheels look different just by how you decide you're going to flip them. And let me finish this one and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look how pretty. And then you could flatten it down a little bit. And I like to leave a little bit of dimension in them, but... You can get them where they are pretty flat um, to use on your pages. And you could even add another little like paper flower before you put your brad on. Just to, you know, give it a little extra. Just to jazz it up a little bit. But here's what I mean about using the same, the same paper, but you fold it different. So these are the exact same front and back. It's just a matter of which flap you fold down. 
because this one's showing the green where this one's showing the yellow because I just pretty much flipped the paper over to pull. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I still have my 100 subscriber giveaway gonna happen. I'm gonna be drawn for that on the 5th. Um, if you go check out that video, I'll try to leave a description, um, a link in the descriptions for that. I'm still learning. <laughs> so thank y'all for your patience and grace with me. Um, I appreciate all the great comments I've gotten um, and other things y'all would like to see me do. If there's any anything you would like to see me try to make, I'm always up for trying my hand at almost anything. And I, like I said, I love using up scraps. So give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there'll be more giveaways the more I move up and like the more subscribers I get. And I'm super excited. Thank y'all. Bye.